A bill to codify abortion protections failed to get the 60 votes needed to pass the Senate, and based on its leaked draft opinion, the Supreme Court could overturn Roe v. Wade sometime this summer. CBS News political reporter Caitlin Huey Burns talked to lawmakers from both sides of the aisle about the vote. Caitlin, good morning. Uh, let me ask you what lawmakers you've spoken to are saying about the vote, because you know, a lot of people are suggesting that had Democrats just stuck to Roe v. Wade in its current form, not try to yeah. expand it or not try to roll back mm -hmm. uh, laws that have been implemented at the state level, they might have gotten mm -hmm. people like, for example, Joe Manchin to sign on to the law. Why didn't they do that? Yeah, Vlad, that's a great question. And I was asking around that exact question on Capitol Hill, posing that question to Democratic lawmakers. And they said, essentially, they don't want to be seen as compromising on abortion rights. And there are uh, provisions in state law or attempts at provisions in state law that have extra requirements for abortion uh, that are not inherent in Roe. So they were arguing that there needed to be somewhat of an expansion to account for that. But that also led to the loss of Joe Manchin in support. It also turned away people who are uh, supportive, generally, of abortion rights on the Republican side. Lisa Murkowski, Susan Collins, they have their own proposal. Uh, that's a more straightforward codification of Roe. And Republicans that I talked to yesterday said, you know, look, this is something that we can now run against, painting Democrats as trying to, uh, you know, expand uh, Roe versus Wade. And so, you know, last week, remember, we were talking about how Republicans were concerned about the politics of all of this, given that a vast majority of the country support abortion rights and kind of what that would mean for them in terms of opposing it. They're looking at this legislation, according to people I talked to yesterday, as a way to paint Democrats as extreme. Now, Democrats I've been talking to say, look, this is an issue that is really critical for uh, so many people in this country. This is an issue where they did not want to be seen as, you know, giving any ground on this issue. And they believe that this is something that will be a defining issue in the midterms. And when I asked, you know, what more can you do, I didn't really get a sense that there is any sort of course they can take additionally legislatively, but they plan to use this as a midterm issue. And that was clear by this messaging bill yesterday. Uh, so both of you guys brought up Joe Manchin. He was the only Democrat that voted with the Republicans against this, what was his explanation, his reasoning? Yeah, I caught up with Joe Manchin right after the vote in the Senate hallway, and he said, look, you know, I am supportive of abortion rights. Seventy percent of the country support Roe versus Wade. He was pointing to public polling. He said that if this was just a straightforward vote codifying existing precedent, that he would be supportive of it. And I asked if Chuck Schumer has been talking to him, the majority leader, talking about ways to move forward. Uh, he said that, you know, this is up to Chuck Schumer. He's the majority leader. He decides what gets to the floor. I also asked Susan Collins, who, of course, has that uh, Republican proposal, if she's heard from Chuck Schumer. And she said no, uh, that she, she's continuing to work on this legislation. She said she's also working on legislation with uh, Tim Kaine, the Democrat of Virginia. Uh, but, but essentially, what those kind of moderate members were telling me was that if this were just a straightforward codification of Roe, as precedent has existed, uh, for several decades, uh, that they would be supportive of that. Um, so, essentially, what this comes down to is the bulk of Democrats saying that that would be too uh, narrow, and most Republicans, uh, who are, you know, open to supporting abortion rights, saying that the legislation was just too broad. All right. Caitlin, thank you very much.